Hey guys, I'm back and I have stuff to show you on my Project Civic, the EK Coupe. You know, I've been MIA on the channel for a while. Rob has been doing his car, you know, and I've been editing his videos, so I kind of taken a back seat, which is fine because last year I spent a lot of time and a lot of money on the EK. If you haven't seen those episodes, go check the channel, go check the playlists. There's plenty of episodes of me doing a lot of cool mods on my car, like sway bars and coilovers and all that kind of stuff, so go check that out. But I'm gonna be showing you now what I've been doing on the Civic, you know, while Rob has been working on his car. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys just a little reminder. You know, we have stickers on our website. If you wanna go buy those, it helps support us and uh, keep us doing what we've been doing and making videos. So this is a vinyl transfer sticker, uh, it's our logo. And then this is our new design of our Wrench Race Refine Repeat sticker. $6 ship www.refine-movement.com and pick those up and help us out. First of all, this is my new garage. As you saw last year and you know, random videos that I've done is that I've been working either in Rob's garage or uh, in the parking lot of my apartment complex, which so I just moved here. That's kind of why I've been absent from the channel because uh, life happens and I have other things to do besides make YouTube videos, unfortunately, which I'd love to do, but YouTube doesn't pay that great. So, uh, but I just moved in with my wife and now I have a garage. Anyways, what you guys are gonna be seeing in the next this episode for sure, I'm not sure about next week's, um, is some old footage that I shot while Rob has been doing his car. Um, so it's gonna go back and forth between me now, present Travis and past Travis doing other stuff. But I did a lot of mods on the interior, kind of trying to shed some weight from the car because I gotta go head to head with Rob and he has a much lighter car than me. So, you know, I gotta lose as much weight as possible. What I've been doing is I did the airbag delete on this side of the car. I'm gonna show you guys that. I also took out the glove box, the radio stuff I also removed, and you guys saw last year that I gutted the car, but what's been annoying me is the edges of the door frames are very sharp once you remove the plastic paneling. So I found this kind of weather stripping detail stuff at Walmart to kind of cover the uh, the seam welds here that it makes it actually a lot safer and doesn't want to cut my head open every time I get into the car because I'm a tall guy. I'm going to show you now removing the glove box and the airbag. There's just two screws underneath to undo and it should come free. Well, that's one way to take out the glove box. All right, so this is a disclaimer. I know, I know, I'm gonna be that guy. Removing the airbags is dangerous for daily driving. I don't daily drive this, it's just for the track. Airbags don't really do much for track driving, except get in the way if you have an accident. Be careful, if you're gonna do this mod and remove your airbag, do it at your own risk, because airbags save lives. Be careful when you're removing it as well, because basically the airbags have many explosives in them, so. Be careful guys. First of all, you need to undo the negative battery terminal because you don't want to accidentally set off your airbag. Otherwise, you could set it off while you're removing it. There's a couple screws. I believe there's three screws underneath the airbag um, where the glove box was. Remove those and it should be loose. Now you have to get uh, the dash undone a little bit to get to some of the wiring. There's a sensor box underneath the radio console in the back. So I'm just pulling some pieces off here to get to some of that wiring. This is the connection to the airbag on the passenger side, that yellow and blue clip. So you need to pull it free and then you can disconnect it. 
Now that everything's disconnected, you basically have to push the airbag through. You really need to give it a lot of force. Screwdriver helps, but be careful you don't mess up your dash too bad, but it does take a lot of effort to get this out. Okay, that was a big fight, but you can pull out the top. It's gotta work a screwdriver around and you can get it out. It's not gonna be pretty, but this is pretty heavy. It's probably at least 10 pounds, maybe 15. It's good weight savings. And you just gotta pry the rubber off and you can reattach it to cover the hole. See, it's a problem with these screws. These hooks, just pry it off. So let's take this. And we can go back in here and cover the hole. Doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit bent out of shape, but. As you can see, the airbag cover has kind of smoothed out over time, you know, with heat and just kind of settling in. I know on the video I showed you guys just a minute ago that it looked pretty aggressive, and it was. It's really a pain in the butt to get it out, so you have to really pry at it. Um, but be careful, you will damage your dash a little bit. But I think it came out pretty good overall plus it saved me a lot of money because those airbag delete trays are really expensive and I just don't see the point in it really so I think it came out really nice and saved me a good amount of weight here I'm just taking out the cup holder and just removing some odds and ends of the interior that I just didn't need anymore Holder. Here is what I was showing you in the beginning of the video. I believe it's a trim guard or like a door jam guard that I found at Walmart for like $8. Came with like a roll of this black, um, kind of looking like weather stripping type stuff, but it fit on my door seam really well and covered up the sharp edges. take out my handbrake here and paint this metal since I took the console out. It's pretty gross looking. I'm just going to paint some the black spray paint and make it look nice. So make sure you got stuff blocking the front wheels so the car doesn't roll away because you got to undo the brake and also uh, either put it in reverse or put it in first gear just to keep the transmission to help the car from rolling. Here we go. You just want to undo this spring here, the adjustment spring. Like I'm doing the socket, it's a 12 millimeter. A little cumbersome. So eventually that comes out, come loose. I'm just going to get these two bolts.
Okay, so it bolts out and it is loose. Don't lose that spring. Make sure you keep that. And then that is ready to go. So I'm gonna take that inside, give it a little sand, and then just spray it black. I'm just gonna clean that before I put it back in. And then I'll put it all back. It'll look awesome. So I'm just taping up the handle part so I don't get any black spray paint on the handle. And then I just do a light sand on the metal part that I'm going to paint just to get it a little rough, get some of the surface rust off because that was really all that was on there, it's just some surface rust. And just get some gloss black. I had this can laying around and it really came out really nice. The first side is dry, flip it over to do the second side. I've spray paint a lot of things and really the trick is is you want to only spray paint small items doing short sprays back and forth back and forth getting good coverage and doing multiple coats I was really happy with how this came out. I'm a critic of everything I do to my car, but this really was the perfect mod. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. everything together like I did so now it's going back in the car and here is the finished product of my handbrake removal and painting as you can see it looks totally awesome what I really like about it is that it kind of matches the car now because this is black and this is black. So I think it all came out really nice, especially how it looked before. So I'm gonna continue doing some mods in the car. I definitely wanna try to pull up the sound deadening, paint a little bit of area, so some spray paint to kind of give it just a fresher look and go from there. You like my new Momo wheel? I traded out my Nardi because it really wasn't good for me at the track. Just made my hands fall on the wheel too too high and I couldn't see the gauges. This wheel's pretty cool. I haven't tried it at the track, track yet. I really like it and I'm excited to see how it does when I go racing. That was just a quick uh, little video update about my car, some of the interior stuff. I've also done a little bit of work in the engine bay. I'm gonna show you guys that coming up. Rob and I go to the junkyard where I pull a Y8 intake manifold and then I also buy a Y8 exhaust manifold to give my Y7 more room to breathe on the track. The next episode I'm going to be removing this antenna and doing an antenna delete. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that, which will be a cool little mod. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. <laughs>